hello everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel this is love truth and wisdom tarot guidance i hope you all are having an enjoyable day evening afternoon wherever you are and i hope you all are doing well so today i'm here to bring you another pick a card reading and today we are looking into what your person of interest the person on your mind what are they afraid to tell you at the moment um, so we have here three piles to choose from. We have the first pile here with the magician, the second pile here with the moon, and then the third pile here with the lovers. So feel free to pick more than one if you feel guided to do so. Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not all the messages will resonate. And that is okay. Just take what does, leave what doesn't. Do not make it fit if it doesn't fit. I am available to do personal readings. If you feel guided to get a personal reading from me, that information will be down below in the description box. And then I just want to give a big thanks to all of you for liking, sharing, subscribing, supporting me and my channel in whatever way you feel guided to do so. Um, I truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for your time, your trust, your likes, your love, your comments. I'm so glad that these readings are resonating with you and providing you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation. So thank you all so much. So um, yeah, so without further ado here, let's get on to your reading. Hello, Pile One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the Magician card, this is your reading for what your person of interest is afraid to tell you right now at this very moment. One, they're afraid to reach out to you. I really feel this person really wants to reach out to you. Um, they really want to call you or text you. They just really want to get in touch with you because this person is afraid to tell you... Um, how much they actually really do love you this person is very much in love with you like like they want to express so much love to you they want to tell you their feelings this person wants to tell you how much they miss you how much they miss talking to you being with you hanging out with you flirting with you having fun with you this person really 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 wants to reach out and what's keeping them from doing so is this fear of like you may not feel the same way you making maybe you rejecting them you feeling like this person is too needy or this person has a lot of worst case scenarios playing in their head right now um but this person really you know misses you and really really wants to be with you wants to get back together with you they feel like they've really made a mistake they feel like they've missed an opportunity to be with you so that's also causing a lot of fear to come up from um and like keeping them from reaching out to you calling you messaging you texting you i do feel like this person is like in this place where they are begging to be with you again they're really wanting to try something new with you they're really wanting to start over with you they're really wanting to just spend time with you they want your trust they want you to trust them and this person wants to be able to trust you as well i do feel like this person wants a new start they want to be able to love you deeply and be loved deeply by you i do feel like this person um in terms of like what they're afraid to tell you is that they have a fear when it comes to love this person is afraid to show you their true emotions because they can't or they have a hard time admitting their true feelings to themselves i do feel like this is something they want to overcome but they are still struggling in that way i do feel like this person was taught to like block their emotions to um kind of like it's not appropriate for this person to feel or show emotion so this person has learned how to try and kind of like turn off their emotions how to block their heart their heart chakra how um, i do feel like this person was very much rejected or maybe even ridiculed or punished in some way for having or showing emotions when they grew up so there's a lot of shame when it comes to this person and like feelings and especially when it comes to love feelings i feel like this person has learned to hide their emotions but this person can't hide their emotions any longer from you nor do they want to um they're kind of growing out of that and being more mature and realizing that emotions feelings love is a very beautiful energy we are love we are made from love and it is something that's meant to be shared and this person is realizing that they deserve love they deserve you know flirtatious energy they deserve you know to trust someone they deserve passion they deserve to have someone as incredibly special as you in their life and this person is willing to admit this to themselves um so with this fear blocks of love again yeah it says i'm afraid to show you my true emotions to you or even admit them to myself so this person is definitely going through something where this person is learning to not shame or hide their emotions anymore um this person is realizing that they are human and it is perfectly natural and okay for them to have emotions um it means they are alive and it's guiding them towards what they really want it's always 
you know, emotions are meant to be felt, be heard, and to be released. You're not your emotions. You're just the observer of the emotion. So this person is trying to learn that concept, I feel, um, that it's okay to experience emotions. It just guides them to where they want to go or to where they shouldn't go or whatever they, whatever the case may be. And I feel like this person is realizing that they're not a child anymore. They don't have to hide their emotions. They don't have to, you know, hide who they are, or how they feel. It's safe for them to feel. So this person's going through that where... You know, they're trying to gain the courage and the strength to know that it's safe for them to feel. And they're afraid to tell you that they're afraid to feel. They're afraid to be in love. They're afraid to love deeply. They're afraid to show you love. They're afraid to be loved by you. They just feel like it's not appropriate. And again, this is like a conditioning and a programming that this person has dealt with growing up. And it's just something they have to unprogram themselves with and like release and, and condition themselves in a way where, again, where they're allowed to feel you know and it's safe for them to feel because it is i feel like you really like this person and you both really like each other and you like spending time together i do feel like there's this light-hearted energy um wanting to come about being brought up within you both where you both are wanting to get into contact with one another and really like trust each other have fun again enjoy each other's company i feel like this person truly enjoys your company that's another thing they're afraid to tell you that they like having you around they like seeing you they like talking to you they like flirting with you they like being being able to trust you they like to be they like being able to you know trust you with their feelings their fears their emotions their darkness their light you know this person wants to be able to really like really really trust you in a way where this person can tell you that hey i'm feeling needy you know can you come over can you talk give me a different perspective or something like that this person wants to be able to trust you in all ways um we also have here, you compliment me so well, there isn't another like you. So this person is afraid to tell you that they feel like you are their perfect match, that they feel like there's not another person like you, that you are so special to them. Even if they try to replace you, this person has realized that that has backfired and that they can't replace you because you are irreplaceable and you're such a great joy to be around and they're so lucky to have you you just compliment their life so well this person really really admires you and really really likes you um we also have here with missed opportunity it says regret taken for granted didn't act kicking themselves couldn't see clearly harsh lessons so this person's also afraid to tell you that they feel like they've missed an opportunity with you that they regret not taking action in the past um, this person has actually a lot of regrets for not doing certain things that they wish they would have done in the past. I feel like this person keeps like kicking themselves or like kind of like shaming themselves, guilting themselves for for not doing what they know they could have done in the past. Because um, I feel like you've given this person like complete, like a lot of opportunities to express how they feel. But this person just wasn't at in that space. This person couldn't see clearly in the past. I do feel like this person is going through a very harsh lesson of maybe like because they didn't take those opportunities now they're suffering the consequences of like seeing you move on or being in this place of fear not being able to speak to you talk to you which is all just an illusion because this person can if they want to and they do want to but again there's like this fear of like you moving on or not wanting to hear from them which is why we have begging here which says wanting you back regretful apologizing wanting a second chance desperation needing you life or death and needy we have like two messages here of needy. This person's really afraid to be needy. And I feel like right now they're needing you when really, I feel like they're needing you, but they're also needing themselves to know that they have the courage to reach out. Um, this person could be wanting you to reach out, but this person needs to learn that they have the courage and they have the strength to reach out and it's okay for them to be needy. I actually don't even like that word to be honest because it stems from like, a, like seeing it as bad and neediness is not good or bad. It's just an alert that you need something, you have needs. And this person is kind of seeing it as a weakness instead of seeing it as being the observer of the neediness and being like, okay, I have needs. What are my needs? My needs are to talk to pile number one, to reach out to pile number one, to call pile one, to recreate a new opportunity to be together, to have fun, to reach out, to to flirt to express love like instead of just being in this like victim or just you know, this victim mentality where they're like in this place of begging because this person does want you back and they do want another chance with you and um they are like needing you in a way where this person like wants to be with you it's not a needy thing it's more like this person just has a desire to be with you but they're misinterpreting that as a neediness because they've 
been suppressing this need for so long and denying it that now it's just kind of getting overwhelming to them i hope this makes sense so your person does want to apologize i feel like this person feels like you don't want them back or that you are not wanting to give them a second chance because of something they did in the past because they missed an opportunity in the past and this person wants to apologize for that this person feels really bad honestly this person regrets a lot of what they did in the past and they want to apologize and <sighs> This person just really, really wants you back, honestly. This person really wants you to be able to give them another chance. And we have here, I'm too needy of you and I don't want to appear weak. Again, I just explained that. I feel like that's more just them mis their misinterpretation of the, the neediness, quote unquote, energy. Um, because I feel like you want and need this person too. And there's nothing wrong with that when it's coming from a healthy sp a space and a healthy place. But when it's coming from like a judgment, that's when it becomes like not great obviously um and then we have here i was conditioned to hide my feelings since childhood so that checks out with the like fears the fear blocks love and like all their fears that are coming up and then we have here no one is like you you are so incredibly special to me so yeah this person is afraid to tell you just how special you are to them this person has not fully elaborated or confessed how much you mean to them like in a way where it's like no one else has the same effect on them like this person just sees you as incredibly special unique admires you i feel like this person may put you on a pedestal i feel like this person just you invoke so much emotion in this person that this person just didn't even know they had all this love feeling um until you like you know triggered it out of them and so now this person is just trying to figure out how to like reach you how to talk to you about this how to express this passion in a healthy way um whether they should reach out or shouldn't reach out i feel like this person has no choice or they feel like they have no choice but to reach out it's just a matter of time but this person is nervous to reach out to you because they really like do not want you to reject them they really want a new start with you they really want to overcome this condition of hiding their feelings and they feel like you are the best person to do this with because they actually trust you this person really does trust you they know that you are non-judgmental and that you will accept them and that you will give them wisdom to overcome a lot of their conditioning and a lot of their old behaviors that have kept them from you a lot of their blocks you will help them with this person trusts you more than anyone like honestly they've ever met they've ever been with like you are their go-to person um that is also something they're afraid to tell you but again i feel like this person is 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 leading up to telling you this because they're so wanting to reach out to you and afraid that you're going to move on without them and they don't want to miss another opportunity with you this person really wants to feel heard and seen by you i feel like if you can hear and, and see this person like it'll just make their life way better they feel like it'll just make them feel like on cloud nine basically but this person also needs to find this security they need to see and hear and feel themselves because you know in order so within so without you know you know what i'm saying so this person really needs to like you know know that they are worthy and know that they can create an, another opportunity like to not kind of like stall out or just kind of like focus on missed opportunities of the past but know that they can create a new opportunity anytime they want at any given moment um because this person has very sincere feelings and emotions for you so really really sweet okay so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation if not feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so i'm sending you all so much love and light thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care hello pile two and welcome to your reading if you chose the moon card this is your reading for what your person of interest is afraid to tell you at this moment so first thing i'm picking up really really strong is this person's afraid to tell you the truth about um everything <laughs> like this person's afraid to tell you that they have self-sabotaged this connection and just like i feel like honestly their life in general for a very long time this person is afraid to tell you that they have a lot of fears in regards to their worth in regards to um their passion i feel like this person presses a lot of themselves this person definitely wears um, a false mask i feel this person definitely like has a facade going on this person is afraid to tell you that they feel unworthy of having a healthy relationship that they reject potential partnerships um dates because they just don't feel worthy especially with self-worth being in reverse this person um 
does not yeah just they don't feel like they can sustain a healthy relationship and they just don't feel worthy of a great relationship i feel like this person's afraid to tell you that they carry with them a lot of fear a lot of doubt a lot of suspicion and unnecessary worry and lack of trust when it comes to relationships when it comes to other people i'm building a strong bond and building strong relationships i feel like this person has very deep self-worth issues that cause them again to like sabotage a lot of their relationships this person is also afraid to tell you that they don't don't think they're lovable um they don't think they have what it takes to be an amazing partner this person like likes not likes you but feels like it's better to just settle for less and just settle for unhealthy relationships or and and just because like deep down this person just doesn't think it's possible that for them to have a healthy relationship i feel like this person really has a lot of beliefs that are like unworthiness that revolve around like relationships and stuff like that it's actually kind of sad um yeah this person just does not doesn't believe in themselves and like with 20 with yeah with 28 here this is chemistry in reverse this person is also afraid to tell you that they feel awkward with themselves they feel uncomfortable with themselves they may sometimes feel like you both are incompatible because maybe you're you represent like a healthy aspect of them like a healthy relationship and they just don't feel worthy of that so this is why they clash with you or they feel awkward or um I don't know they just feel uncomfortable a little bit here and it's because this person doesn't feel comfortable with themselves it's because this person doesn't really enjoy themselves they don't enjoy spending time with themselves this person avoids it at all costs i do feel like this person um like this person knows like this person in terms of like what they're free to tell you you make them laugh you make them you know have fun you bring out this confident side of them but when they're not with you it kind of goes left you know and they're so uncomfortable with that because they're not used to that type of energy so this person they do feel physically attracted to you honestly this person is very much obsessed with you but they neglect it they suppress it they hide it because it just overwhelms them they don't feel worthy of it they don't feel like honestly you're as attracted to them as they are with you like they don't feel like i don't know it's almost like they don't feel like it's natural to like have mutual feelings or mutual attraction which is not funny i think it's it's definitely like an issue that like they grew up in like they were conditioned to to believe in obviously but i feel like this person just they feel such a strong chemistry with you and they feel so easy when they're with you but it freaks them out like honestly like it's something they're just not used to they don't like it and so they reject it and they push you away because it just makes them feel so awkward and uncomfortable um because you just make them feel so like good inside like you just make this person feel so passionate and it's just it's completely overwhelming to this person so with the card clarity here it says i'm not sure what this connection really is or if it's what i really want i'm trying to get clear on that so definitely feel like that is the case with this person this person's afraid to tell you that they lack clarity they don't know what they really want they don't know what this connection really is i feel like this person wants to be crystal clear before they make a move towards you um I feel like this person also has in their head that there are wrong moves and right moves when it comes to this situation and which a lot of us have like that dualistic type of energy um so they don't make a choice which actually is making a choice but this person is like it's like <sighs> they don't know where they're supposed to be does that make sense like they don't know what to do when it comes to this i feel like this person has a hard time standing up for themselves stepping up into their like <laughs> standing their ground i guess fully accepting their masculine and feminine energies within because this person wants to pursue you but then they don't and then they want to like be with you and then they don't i feel like this balance there's this balance is off within this person this person needs to balance the need between being passive and overt aggressiveness because it's like it's just not balanced like this person has a lack of balance right now and again a lot of this is fear um i feel like they're afraid to tell you that they're sorry really really sorry for ghosting you because we have ghosting here and then we have i'm so very sorry please find it in your heart to forgive me so if this person ghosted you they are very sorry about that because um well not because but i feel like this person just was running and avoiding trying to avoid their emotions running away from their emotions their emotions are very overwhelming this person 
does not know how to handle their emotions whatsoever. I feel like this person does not know how to handle like any difficult, overwhelming emotions. They bottle up their feelings a lot. And because of this, they end up ghosting and giving you or giving anyone the silent treatment. So I feel like this person is really, really sorry about that. They want to tell you why they do what they do, but they don't feel like it's the right time because this person is still going through like roller coaster energies very high highs and low lows um they feel like this relationship or you are very addictive and it's a lot of pleasure and pain and and it's a lot of like it's just a lot of up and down and it, again this overwhelms this person where they just feel like they have they can't do anything so they give you the silent treatment or ghost you or whatever the case may be and I feel like this person is right now emotionally unavailable um that is what they're afraid to tell you because they know that you they know you want them to be more available emotionally, but this person is just not ready. They're like in this place where they just can't commit to anything right now. Again, it could have to do with divine timing. They just don't think it's the right time. They don't think it's the right time for you both to like come together yet. Um, they know that you're feeling impatient, but they are hoping that you can just be in the moment and this person's trying to be in the moment, but it's it's hard. Um, this person is trying to surrender to the fact that they're not ready, but it's hard. Um, they do feel like a very strong soul bond, soul contract with you, but they feel like that's what also overwhelms them because they don't know what that means. Like they don't know how to handle that. They don't know how to, what they really just don't know what it means. Um, we also have here, if I can't be your lover, we can't be friends. So this person definitely wants to be more than your friend. They don't want to be just friends with you. They want to be with you, but it is so overwhelming to them, you guys. This person feels so overwhelmed with loving emotions. I feel like this person's heart chakra has been closed for a very, very long time. And because of this, they're like swinging. And it's like they go from like obsessive thoughts to no thoughts to like obsessively wanting to see you to like not wanting to see you again with the high highs and the low lows. Um... We also have here, I want to get back together with you. I miss you so much and I want to wake up beside you every day. This is like how they feel, but like then they like, they think it's too much or it overwhelms them and then they're just like, no, this is not the right time or no, I don't know if that's the truth. I don't know if I'm just like, you know, lying to myself and then they like run away from these feelings and try to distract themselves or just do something else. Like it's very, it's it's honestly not the most grounding energy. It's honestly like giving me a headache and just making me feel a little bit annoyed, frustrated, anxious. Like, so this is what you could be feeling or this person's feeling this way because they can catch themselves going up this roller coaster, up and down this roller coaster, and they don't like it any more than you do, but they also don't know how to stop it. They don't know how to like control it yet. Um, and I feel like this person just has a lot to say to you, but they're so like, like fright like in like fear mode like flight fright or freeze like this person is just very like like they just don't know it, it's it's which they really do know but they just don't know how to handle it because this person was not taught how to handle it and this is all very very new to this person so it's very very overwhelming so the more light love compassion you can give to this person the better this person is sorry um they're afraid to tell you this, that they're all over the place, that they're very up and down, that they don't know what the right thing to do is, that they lack clarity, that right now their subconscious is kind of taking over, their fears, their overwhelming emotions, or it's back and forth. Um, but they're also afraid to tell you that they want to get back together with you and that they miss you. And that they hope that you can forgive them for being back and forth, for ghosting, for being up and down with you, for being like hot and cold with you, for being unavailable, for being non-committal. but they really do want to be with you and want to wake up beside you every day. They want to live with you. They want to like grow, just hear, grow old with you. Like this person really does have a lot of strong, passionate feelings for you, but it really overwhelms them. Like this person is just not good with with love right now like it's just it's something they have to learn and it's something they have to go through and it's something that they have to like practice honestly um yeah but ugh, this is such a it's like breaking my heart because this person really wants to be with you and this person really does love you but it is I, it could just be a lot of other energies a lot of the collective that they're feeling this person is just all over the place very up and down and they just they don't know where to start and they just don't know if it's like not the right time yet they're waiting for this time where they can come towards you but this person has been dealing with this up and down energy for a while longer than they care to and it's like they want things in balance again because right now this person just feels blocked on all levels like and um 
they just feel stuck you know like they need to move some energy around and they just want to talk to you but they at the same time they feel like they can't because they don't know what they want to say they want to talk to you but they don't they're not ready for a commitment you know what I mean just because this person is still dealing with a lot of other things that they have to like figure out or that they want to figure out before they can fully be with you commit to you and get back together with you basically so that is what I see for you guys so I hope this was helpful and I hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation um if not, feel free to pick another pile if you feel guided to do so. I'm sending you all so much love and light. I'm sending this person so much love and light. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And I will talk to you all later. Take care. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading. If you chose the lover's card, this is your reading for what they are afraid to tell you at this moment. So this person's afraid to tell you the truth. I feel like this person has been lying to you. They're afraid to tell you that they've been lying to you when it comes to their true feelings for you. I feel like this person has true, genuine, real feelings for you. I feel like this person feels very loved and fulfilled when they're with you, when they speak to you, when they talk to you, when they know they get to see you. And this is something that they've lied about. I definitely feel like this person feels like you are a true love. They feel like they can be honest and genuine and have a long-lasting relationship with you and this is something that they've lied about they're afraid to tell you that they want to give to you that they like love you for who you really are this person I feel like has been wearing disguises has been wearing a mask has been trying to put up this facade that they're one way when they're really another way I feel like this person is afraid to tell you that they have flaws that you know they're not perfect which nobody is but I just feel like this person is afraid to be authentic and real with you um, this person's also afraid to tell you that they feel very physically attracted to you, um, that you mean the world to them, that this person would generally do anything to make you happy. I feel like this person, again, like this person just sees you as a true love. Like they know that you are the person that they are meant to be with, that you, they can have emotional fulfillment with, that they can feel loving feelings with. I feel like this person also is afraid to tell you that they want you to call them or reach out to them first. Um, they want to meet up with you, but this person wants you to like make that first move so take that how it resonates um if not i'm pretty sure this person will reach out to you but they're just ready to have this like mature true love romantic long-term relationship with you i feel like this person has been telepathically communicating to you that they want you to reach out that they want to hear from you that they're ready to speak to you meet up with you um maybe you're getting a lot of signs and synchronicities in regards to this i feel like this person like sees you as like marriage material with engagement here i feel like maybe you've been having dreams or getting signs of marriage about marriage or union or engagement or just having a deeper commitment having a next a new phase or a next phase in this relationship this person has been telepathically communicating that to you that they want these things with you that they see you as you know someone that they could have a long-term commitment with a deeper commitment with that they want to move this relationship to the next phase even if you haven't spoken to this person in a while they want to get things rolling they want like a serious serious relationship with you i also feel like this person's afraid to tell you that they have a lot of regrets for not committing to you sooner or not you know being with you in a deeper way sooner um this person feels bad for maybe lying to, not maybe but for lying to you about their feelings for pretending that this that didn't have feelings for oh i just started wasting your time for like you know not apologizing when they should have apologized i feel like this person has a lot of apologizing or making up to do i guess in a sense this person also is afraid to tell you that they wish they could turn back time and do things differently i do feel like this person has grown they are coming to realize a lot of their regrets and realizing that only they can change this um i do feel like this person is afraid to tell you that you know because we have here i'm not ready to give my all to you and only you so they're afraid to tell you that maybe they were giving attention to other things people places they that they um wanted to to kind of play the field or not be exclusive with you but maybe they lied to you and said that almost like they breadcrumb you because they didn't want you to like they didn't want you to go out and play the field so they kind of gave you what you needed or a little bit of what you needed just to keep you around I feel like this person deeply regrets that because obviously it wasn't fair it wasn't nice and it wasn't true this person has always wanted you they've always wanted you by their side they've always wanted to have a committed relationship with you they've only wanted to give their all to you and only you but this person May have told you that they weren't ready to do that so i do feel like this time apart has really taught your person a lot i feel like it's brought a lot of clarity to them i feel like it's helped them understand their feelings um it's helped them to understand that 
their love for you is real and that they should never doubt it because we have here yes my love for you is real never doubt it we also have here i've been through hell and back and i'm terrified of being vulnerable with you in case i get hurt i'm sorry so this person definitely has some apologizing making up to do i i feel like this person's afraid to tell you that they have a fear of emotional intimacy of vulnerability because this person's afraid of rejection afraid of getting hurt and they're sorry for keeping this from you they're sorry for not telling you this sooner and for just kind of denying you and pushing you away but i feel like the more that this person pushed you away the more that they longed for you i feel like this person has gone through a very difficult time i'm getting tower moments um because we have here i've been through hell and back so this person has been through a lot since the last time you spoke to them um, saw them I feel like this person has really grown honestly this person all whatever they've been through has matured them in a way where this person's ready to meet up they're ready to speak to you they're ready to see you to call you to talk to you um yeah this person we have here the truth sometimes I find this connection confusing and I'm not sure what the truth of it is I definitely feel like this is this is yeah your person is afraid to tell you that they sometimes find this connection very confusing they don't know what's true and what's not true I feel like this person had to learn that truth has a very distinct vibration to it and um they had to learn how to kind of say things out loud so their consciousness can hear it and feel the vibration of it and then they'll know if it's true or false um true to their innate true to their heart so i feel like this person has a hard time feeling i feel like this person has a hard time especially through like their solar plexus i feel like that has matured this person is way more confident than when you remember them or the last time you saw them i feel like this person just can't lie anymore about what they feel because this person knows what's true and what's not true especially in their innate their heart what their heart has been telling them i feel like this person um has been scared of this connection because it's so sacred because there's so much it's a very true connection it's very deep and it's very honest and i feel like it doesn't make sense to the to their linear mind so that's why this person has been denying it or avoiding it not because they want to it's just that's kind of how the ego just kind of handles things that they that you can't make sense of um that's not really linear in terms of that so this person feels this truth deep within their soul they know that you are meant to be together they know that this is something they want they can't deny it anymore and i feel like this person doesn't want to and they don't want to deny it with their mind anymore especially i feel like this i feel like this person wants to clear up any confusion and bring like clarity to you honestly they want to open their mind heart and spirit to you they feel like this is a mind heart and spirit connection it's just not romantic but it like it hits all the boxes it's mental it's spiritual it's emotional um yeah it's it's heartfelt like this is a very beautiful connection and this person is afraid to tell you that because they don't know if you will understand or if you feel the same way or if you'll reject them it's like a very i feel this person is like this is a very serious situation right now because this person has never experienced this they're just now coming to the terms that this is true love that this is the truth that this is like what they feel and they're hoping you feel the same way and this person has gone through a deep transformation some tower moments where they are now realizing like this is how i feel this is the truth which is why they've been like telepathically communicating this to you so multi-dimensional connection feeling each other's emotions mind reading connected through space and time pure communication so definitely feel like this person you can feel their emotions and this person can feel yours i feel like you can read each other's minds as well but this is like a connection that is connected through space and time like there's you know no matter how long you've been apart or haven't spoken you both will reconnect as if you've been together this whole time you know what i'm saying like this is that's how you know it's like true it's deep and it's real um because it never breaks you know you both have a very strong bond together and they're afraid to tell you this because they just don't know how you're gonna respond they don't know if you're gonna think they're crazy they don't know if you're gonna believe them um it's just it's a lot for this person but i feel this person is ready to like step up and like be accountable be accountable and take responsibility for their emotions and feelings um they're just afraid to tell you this because they just they don't know like how you're going to respond or how you're going to take it but i do feel like this is something they're going to do regardless anyways because they're just being guided to do so and they've been doing it telepathically anyway so it's just a matter of time before they reach out in the physical so that is what i see for you guys so i hope this was helpful and i hope this provided you with some type of guidance and clarity to your situation um i'm sending you all so much love and light um thank you for watching thank you for tuning in and i will talk to you all later take care